Howdy partners and welcome back. So basically, I put on my Instagram what videos would you guys like to see and someone suggested a little um, coffee taste test from all of the vendors. So that's what I'm going to be doing because um, a coffee a day keeps the doctor away. I was debating like what coffee shops to do because obviously you've got the big chains but then you've also got independent. So I'm going to do a mix because some of the independent like you won't have in your area and you'll be like, why are you taste testing a coffee from that place? I don't even know what it is. So we're going to do a mixture but I'm going to do it over a couple of days because do you think I have enough money to be buying like 10 coffees in one day? Also, I just don't think that's good for my heart. Let me just do a little fit check for you. So this puffer is an Adidas one. She's very actually on TK Maxx. This under sweater thing is the light green one is a charity shop. And then I also have a sweatshirt underneath it because layers. Um, which is i think from like misguided but like six years ago and i'm pretty sure it's my sister's and she just gave it to me but i just like the green necklace olaria tesco's wearing my Bershka um leather trousers and i'll probably wear boots this might give you a little bit more of a better representation um onwards to the first coffee place which is indeed gonna be coffee one <laughs> I'd rate it an eight. Okay, so when I was in Coffee One, I didn't really give it a very extensive review. So I just thought I'd do a review and make it Christmassy by sitting by a Christmas tree. The coffee was good. The roast was, I think, an Ethiopian roast. I mean, it was a solid coffee, but it didn't change my life. So that's why I went for an eight, because I was like, we need to start off. At like a base level because it was not life changing but it was good it caffeinated me i did buy my tongue on it though but i can't really blame the coffee for that one <sighs> isn't back the same day this is a little bonus segment to the video because me and my friend are going to this little independent coffee shop it's called boscanova if you're ever in the vicinity of boscanova I'm, I feel like there's only actually one that might, I might be wrong, there might be a few. It's this little independent coffee shop, so I thought I'd take you. Um, I'm actually going for a specific drink there, and I think we're going to get the Dirty Chai, which is a chai latte with a shot of espresso. I feel like it has a little bit of an unfair advantage, because it... It's the best drink known to man, but I thought I'd just take you along anyway. Let's go. It is the next day and I just got my COVID jab. So it's day two of this coffee adventure of me taste testing coffees from around the globe. I'm joking, not around the globe, around where I live. Today on the agenda, for now, this current moment, we're going for Costa, one of the big boys. There's actually a Costa drive through not that far from me, so I've driven here. I'm only going to get a small one because the budget's not quite stretching for Christmas, to be honest. Also, I low-key think I got a parking ticket when I was getting my COVID job. Hey, well. When I go through this drive through 
they're gonna really be judging me for um, filming myself. Okay, I forgot to say that I'm get ordering um, Americanos from this place because it is my coffee of choice. on a stick oh wait a second they've made that really well it's gonna have to get a good score so this specific costa we're gonna have to rate high i'm gonna have to rate it a nine you know it isn't your authentic or italian coffee so i can't give it a 10 i can't she was nice she was she was like she was a solid nine good however i did get an ice and i do tend to prefer iced coffee i got a hot coffee in the coffee one so i feel like i'm not doing a very good judge with the old like i'm not making this fair so it is in fact the next day what did i say a coffee a day keeps the doctor away so we are going to go to the big mackie d's we're gonna go to mcdonald's it's another one of the big guys but i actually do have a drive through like kind of near me and it's also on the way to john lewis i need to go to john lewis hi can i just have a small black um Coffee? Uh, black coffee, yeah, anything else? No, thank you. Thank you. I probably look like such a freaking McDonald's and I'll A black coffee, but to be honest, I actually wouldn't be able to get anything here because I don't think they do anything gluten free. Um, I've only got a small one because I did literally just make myself a coffee, but like I need another one. I obviously don't. I'm literally on one. I actually quite like um, McDonald's coffee. Oh, hi. By the way, you're very pretty. Thank you so much. And your oh my god, thank you so much. Oh, I I just put um, epiderm cream on them every night. What's that? It's like a moisturizer, but it, honestly, what? it works. You too. Ooh. Thank you very much. Like sugars? Uh, no, thank you. You too. <sighs> People have a death wish, honestly. They just walk out in front of your car. I'm like, I'm not being funny, but I can't drive. So if you just walk out in front of my car, I'm going to hit you. Well, that was so such a pleasant experience. The girl at the um, thingy just made my day. But yeah, the girl at the thing that you gave me a compliment, it was so sweet. Okay, so I've arrived at a destination that I could stop. So, I'm going to do a taste test of the coffee because it's probably, like, cooled down enough for me to drink it now. Also, I just drove past um, this cafe place um, and I was just scoping it out because it was like, oh, it's around here and i looked in and my friend was just in there so i'm gonna message her in a minute like babes i just saw you in a cafe i drove past and it's really weird because i'm seeing her later like we're going ice skating in like five hours
the thing with mcdonald's coffee is it does get brownie points because it's really cheap like i think this was 99p which like you're spending upwards of like three pounds in other places but this is 99p i'm not really like you don't really expect it to be sensational so i feel like you can kind of accept it being a little bit worse it is a little bit watery and if you did want milk in your coffee and you're vegan they don't have any milk alternatives which is a bit rude okay i'm gonna go 6.5 because it's not the best coffee but if we're taking in consideration the fact that it's really cheap and it's really convenient i think it pushes it up to a 7.2 also hack in the summer i always order one of these and then i order one of their cups of ice and then i wait for it to go a bit cold and then i can make myself an iced one the final day of my coffee adventure because you know it's coming you know what's coming starbucks to be honest is their coffee even that great but i can exactly not do it like do you know what is good about starbucks though like their coffee's not that great but their other sort of drinks i do really rate like their matcha their coconut drink in the summer that hits that hits so good <laughs> of starbucks was that it tasted like every starbucks ever it's starbucks but it was nice i think i honestly give starbucks like a seven a 6.8 but if we're talking about starbucks as a whole god they're like other drinks really hike them up to like an eight an 8.5 if you're looking for like a matcha type of beat uh, but that pretty much concludes my taste testing video i hope you guys enjoyed i actually really enjoy making this video i can't lie um probably because i got to just buy myself caffeine um which we all know is one of my favorite pastimes but thank you guys so much for watching i will be doing a christmas section vlog so christmas eve christmas day and potentially boxing day vlog for you guys so that will be uploaded soon um and i think i'm going to do some christmas baking so stay tuned for those videos but thank you guys so much for watching love you lots and have a lovely day